Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and if you're on here, welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about my newfound vendetta against uh, Apple Arcade. So, a bit of backstory. When I was younger, I sort of, uh, I started to play video games, and I guess like, the blooming of the mobile gaming market industry thing, you know? So it's like, uh, I started playing games back when... Games like uh, Doodle Jump, uh, Cut the Rope, A Jetpack Joyride, Fruit Ninja, and especially Angry Birds were like uh, coming out and like uh, getting popular and stuff. Uh, fun fact, actually, Angry Birds was the first video game that I ever played. Um, so yeah, those games are very special to me, you know, a, um, a special place in my heart they have. Uh... So, I played, like, basically every single game of those that I could, uh, uh, get my hands on, you know? So it's like, I played the original Angry Birds, Rio, Space, Star Wars, Star Wars 2, Go. Uh, I even got, I even got the Angry Birds trilogy on the Xbox 360 and the Wii and the 3DS. Uh... <laughs> And I even tried one of their weird Connect 3 games. Um, which, uh, I guess it was kind of fun for a little bit, but it got really stale uh, pretty quickly. And yeah. And then, just singles for Cut the Rope. I played, uh, Cut the Rope. Cut the Rope Experiments. Cut the Rope Time Travel. Man, I still, remember, I still, I still, remember, I, I still remember when that game came out. Uh, I didn't really know exactly what it meant by time travel. Uh, I, I, I think I just woke up from a nap, so that was probably it. Yeah, I'd say that. I played uh, uh, Cut the Rope 2, which is more like 4, but still. Uh, Cut the Rope Magic, and uh, so on. Or not so on, because Cut the Rope Magic was, uh, I guess, like the last like real Cut the, like, real cut the Rope game, you know, that has like the core mechanics at heart in it. And then the same goes for Angry Birds, where their last real game was uh, Angry Birds 2. That is, until a few months ago on the channel, you might have seen that I reacted to the trailer for Angry Birds Reloaded. And I was pretty excited for that. Uh, I was kind of tired when, uh, when reacting to it, so it might not have showed in the video. But... You know, it's pretty exciting because it was like their first new game in like five years. And then I think at the end of the video, I said like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited for this. It's pretty exciting. I'm pretty happy about it. I stopped recording. I showed the trailer to my family. And then I realized exclusive to Apple Arcade, you know, and I, uh, I see that and I'm like, well, there goes that because, uh, I don't really own any Apple products. Um, I think I have a few bananas, but those uh, are not ripe anymore. Uh, so that kind of put that out the window. And I could watch, and like I could watch videos about it, but like still, do you know it's like this is like a very special moment for me, you know? And I was just like, I was pretty excited, and that kind of like crushed it for me, or no, it did crush it for me. Not kind of it, yeah. Um, and then probably like a few days ago in the mail, since it's getting close to Christmas time, uh, or close ish at the very least, uh, a Christmas catalog from Target comes in the mail and, uh, my brother, uh, takes it. He looks through it first. Um, and then at the end of the catalog, they have like their electronics things, you know? So it's like, there's like phones, tablets, laptops. And then it's like, he says, hey, look at this. I come over, and then I see uh, on a phone, there's a familiar character uh, from a game known by the name of Cut the Rope. And then I see it. It's like, it's almost like rebranded, you know? It's like a brand new, like a brand new coat of paint. Cut the Rope Remastered. I see it, there's like Omnom, there's like a female Omnom, which is like we've seen before a few times, a baby Omnom, I think. Um, 
and then of course this gets us excited. I check the Play Store, it's not there. I I update the Play Store and I do like every single thing imaginable to try to find if it's there. I can't find it. I'm like, oh, maybe it's not out yet. I Google, and it is out, but it's exclusive to Apple Arcade. The first like real cut the rope game in five years, um, and it's gonna be exclusive to Apple Arcade. So at this point, I'm just upset, um, upset, upset, and then I think, well, okay, uh, calm down and make a video about it. So. Uh, I Google an image to find for this, uh, this thumbnail for this video, and I, and then some other stuff shows up, because, you know, it's Google, and then it's, like, this news article from, I think it's a few months ago, that says that Apple Arcade, one year later, is it so worth it? No, you know, so it's, like, obviously Apple Arcade is kind of struggling, and this is their way to do it, um, they get these legacy games and then they get them to make a new one and then they put it on their on on their subscription service and if you don't know what apple arcade is it's basically a netflix for video games kind of you pay like a monthly fee and like you can play some exclusive games um th but they may not all be exclusive it's but yeah but there definitely are some exclusives so um so I want to know what you, what you guys think, though. Does this upset you or no? It's like, could these games before or after your time, or do you just not care? Um, either way, just uh, let me know in the comments down below, or to the right, or just or just whoever the comments are, or don't. That's completely fine too. Uh, but with that out of the way. I thought, why not react to the Cut the Rope Remastered trailer? So, let's do that. Okay, so here's the trailer on the official channel. It's pretty short, like uh, 36 seconds. So, let's watch it. So, it is called Remastered, so I, will, I think it might be the original games. But just Remastered. Yeah, so it's like a brand new fresh coat of paint onto it. Oh wait, so it's so it's not just like the first three games, it's like all the games remastered. It's the story unfolds. Okay. Well I mean like it's in the name, it's remastered. But still it's like I am so pretty upset about this and now it's like they keep doing this thing, but um, I do wonder if there's like some exclusive new content or something, but yeah, I guess um, I, I, I knew it was called Remastered, but I guess they made it look like a whole new game, I guess, so I kind of thought that that's what it would be. But uh, yeah, but uh, seeing that it's the old games, but just Remastered, it makes me feel a little bit better, although I do wonder that... Uh, so what if they made it, instead of it being, like, on Apple Arcade, if they instead made it, like, uh, kind of like, kind of like how it's, like, the Angry Birds trilogy is, like, so the first three games, but, like, uh, but just, like, a bit more HD, so it's, like, it looks more crisp, there's foregrounds and backgrounds that, like, move and have special, like, effects and stuff, you know, so it's, like, I still wonder if anything like that would happen, although it's made to be a mobile game, you know, because you, like, swipe and you cut and you, like, pinch and you do all this different stuff. Or not pinch, but, you know, like, you, like, you swipe and you slice and all that. So, yeah, just an interesting thought. But, yeah, so that's all for this video. It's kind of out of the blue. But, anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.